What's up, guys? It's Raf in the Raf Cave, and welcome back to another home theater tips from Raf. So this is going to be based on holiday shopping season. So I know all you guys want to maybe get some gifts for your family, friends, loved ones uh, to help them get into the more home theater uh, digital age, right? And maybe you guys yourself are looking to upgrade your own equipment. So basically, it's just going to be a, a few tips that I'd recommend um, when you're looking at some uh, video and audio. Uh, so, you know, Black Friday is coming up uh, pretty soon here. So there's going to be a lot of bargain TVs out there that are really cheap and it's in 4K and it's HDR and you think it's going to be amazing. A couple things I want to recommend to you guys is when you're looking at a TV, make sure it's a full array local dimming panel, backlit panel, not edge lit. If you can get a really good budget friendly TV that's a backlit panel, then you're gold. That's going to be your better picture quality to increase your black levels, make it a little bit brighter a little better color pop, more depth, definitely worth the uh, extra maybe 50 bucks to get a backlit panel, one of the cheaper ones. Uh, my, my recommendation is Vizio Quantum. Uh, their TVs are fantastic for the money. Definitely check those out for a budget-friendly TV like, say, a TCL, uh, Vizio. I think those are the two budget-friendly backlit panels that are QLED, which is awesome. Uh, great gaming TVs, by the way, too. Um, if you're a sports fan, definitely want to look for a 120 hertz panel. 120 hertz will increase the motion rate, which keep, keeps the players, the ball, the crowd, the camera movements very clean and clear. So it's definitely recommended to, uh, say, look at a Sony TV uh, with the X1 processor uh, for sports fans. That'll give you really good motion handling for them sports. Also great gaming TVs, and they have some backlit panels as well. Uh, if you're looking for a really bright TV, uh, if you have a bright room, a lot of windows and lights, um, and you're not really a sports fan, I'd say look for a Samsung QLED, and they will be the brightest and most colorful TVs out there uh, to really give you that pop in color and co uh, contrast. Uh, but also the Vizio uh, TVs that are quantum also have the kind of technology, so they're pretty bright as well, uh, but they're more budget-friendly too. Um, so, uh, of course, guys, if you want the best, that's OLED, OLED, that's from LG or Samsung in the area. Uh, the C9 is the most complete TV, uh, having the HDMI 2.1 uh, HDMI inputs, which will increase your uh, your bandwidth for them uh, uh, new consoles next year. Getting that uh, 2.1 HDMI gives you uh, 4K up to 120 hertz, and it's a great uh, gaming TV as well. Uh, if you're not into gaming, then of course the Sony OLEDs are fantastic. Their processing is top notch. A little bit a little pricier if you want the top end, but you definitely get your money's worth on the Sony's. Also, their acoustic surface for uh, audio is really great. Um, so if you don't want to get like a soundbar or home theater then uh, their speaker system in the, t in the screen is pretty awesome for audio. One thing I want to add also in this video is uh, streaming devices and antenna and cutting the cord. Uh, if you're looking to cut the cord, uh, that's a good thing because you're going to save yourself a lot of money. Uh, but once you cut the cord, you look into streaming services. So there's like Sling TV, which I use, uh, YouTube TV, there's Hulu TV, Hulu Plus. Uh, there's like DirecTV, Now, PlayStation View. I'm there's tons of stuff out there you know disney plus of course just released netflix obviously um so when you when you look in the cut the cord you want to make sure your internet is good um you want to have at least 25 megabytes per second for 4k streaming and uh if you're not doing 4k then just like regular you know maybe 10 10 megabytes a second for a, a regular hd streaming uh devices that i recommend you know fire sticks is what i use amazon fire stick they're great they're convenient they're simple you got a nice remote it's got the alexa voice built into it you can control your volume of your TV. You control the power of your TV, so it's very, very functional. Uh, functional. Uh, plus, all your streaming devices or streaming apps are built into that to that stick. So, uh, that's great. Uh, also, Roku is good if you want to uh, stick with uh, Comcast uh, service. You can actually stream Comcast TV through a Roku stick through their Xfinity Stream app, which is really cool. So you don't have to have a box. You can just have the Roku stick, and that you can continue watching cable TV without a box, which is nice. Um, so yeah, as far as uh, internet goes, definitely have a nicer router. Uh, I recommend Asus routers. They're my favorite. I have them all over my house. They're awesome. That'll give you some nice range of speed, range of uh, Wi-Fi, so your, all your devices in your house can have a good connection. Uh, there's Nvidia Shield, of course. There's Apple TV. So depending on your preference, there's lots of streaming devices out there uh, for you. Um, if you want to uh, cut the cord and not really stream, you just want to watch local TV, then great, get a great uh, digital amplified antenna, plug it into the back of your TV, uh, do a scan, uh, channel scan, and you get lots of good uh, channels uh, free from local reception. 
there's that too. So uh, streaming devices are going to be big. I recommend Amazon uh, Fire Stick. They're really good. Um, simple. I got 4K. They got HDR. They got Dolby Atmos. They have Dolby Vision. They cover all those bases. Roku, they have uh, HDR. I think they have Dolby Atmos with their uh, Roku Ultra. Uh, otherwise, uh, they're going to get good premium audio and video quality through those sticks. Uh, just make sure you get a uh, good surge protector uh, for all your devices and some good HDMI cables for your devices if you're uh, replacing them or upgrading. Uh, otherwise, let's get back to the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, so for sound, uh, sound bars are going to be the, the hot ticket uh, this holiday. So uh, if you're looking for a sound bar, uh, I recommend a 3.1 sound bar because that third speaker is the center speaker for your voices. And that's going to increase your dialogue and your speaking. So when you're watching that movie late at night or watching TV shows, you don't have to crank it up to get the better voice because there's a dedicated speaker just for voices. That's going to be like a Samsung or a JBL, uh, LG. Uh, they're going to have some really good 3.1s out there uh, for le lower lower price points. My recommendation is the Samsung uh, 650, I believe. That'll be a 3.1 soundbar for about 330, 329 or so. And you can also add the rear speakers to that as well. Uh, to get those rears uh, wireless uh, 5.1. So that's really cool. Otherwise, you know, there's a lot of budget-friendly uh, soundbars out there, uh, 2.1, of course, but make sure it has a nice uh, subwoofer with it. Uh, you don't want to get just a bar by itself. There's not a lot of bass in that, so it's not going to sound very full. So definitely look at uh, a subwoofer with your soundbar. Uh, for premium, definitely look at a uh, Sonos soundbar. Uh, they're really great. Uh, LG's got some good Dolby Atmos soundbars. Uh, Samsung as well, some Dolby Atmos soundbars. Those are the ones with the speakers on top of the soundbar to bounce the sound off the ceiling. Creates that 3D audio for Dolby Atmo, which is really great. Uh, otherwise, uh, soundbars are definitely important. So if you're getting a TV and you don't have a soundbar or home theater, definitely look into uh, just a basic soundbar. Anything. Anything will sound better than the TV speakers because the speakers and TVs now are crap. They're really tiny speakers firing backwards or downwards. Not good, right? So definitely look at something to add to your TV purchase. Uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, that's going to be my tips for um, uh, video and audio. If you have any questions for me, comment below. And if you like this kind of video, um, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Otherwise, I'm, I'm Raf in the Raf Cave Home Theater Inspiration Videos for you guys. Uh, feel free to check me out with all my videos. All right, guys, enjoy the shopping holiday season. It's going to be nuts with some great deals out there. Take advantage of them. Uh, Best Buy's got some really good deals. Amazon, of course, online. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's some good stuff, guys. Uh, like, subscribe, share. I'll see you guys next time. Home Theater Rules. Raffo. See ya.